Okay, Amy, I'm just going to walk you through how to cite your images. So I'm, let's say I'm doing something on Genius Hour. I'm going to go to the image, um, search the web, and on this, it goes directly to Google Images, but it only shows images that you have permission to use um, with a non-commercial uh, license. So kind of Creative Commons type thing. So if I'm going to do Genius, I think of Albert Einstein. So I'm going to go down here to him. I can just double click and it comes in. And um, if you, if all of the images that you use in your presentation are done through the search in Google Slides, you can actually just create another slide at the very end and put um, citations or references or however you want to do that. Um, and then just have this, all images are found through the Google search within slides because that means you have permission to use them all. Now, if you don't do that, then what I would recommend is below each one, you can actually insert a text box and um, do found through Google slides image search and make it to where it's not huge. I'm going to change the font on that because that's way too big. So I'd put it at about a nine and then I can um, center it and all that good stuff. Um, make it go up. Okay, so and then I'm going to actually, oops, I'm going to actually choose both of these things and group them. Right click and then group. So they move. If I move him around, I can, that moves with it. Okay, so the other thing that you can do is go out to images.google.com, which is the Google search, and then you can do um, Genius Hour. Now here is a, a tool that you can use. If you go up here to settings, I'm sorry, tools, and you go right here to usage rights, then if you click on labeled for non-commercial reuse with modification or non-commercial reuse, then you will get images that you have permission to use. You still need to tell where you got them, but if I'm gonna do this genius hour here, um, so I'm going to then, I'm going to get the copy image address and go back over here by URL because that's the address insert. And then that image though, I need to go out and find exactly where it came from. So I'm going to actually visit the place where it came from and here it is. Okay, and you can see right here, some rights reserved, but most things on Flickr you can use without any problem. So I'm going to click on that. So it says you are free to share or adapt it, copy and redistribute. So you can use it as long as you say her name. So here's who um, the author is. Okay, so Denise Krebs. And then I would do it like this, put it actually over the top of it. Um, so it was Creative Commons license and these Krebs. Oops. On Flickr. And again, I'm going to do this, make it smaller. That in. Okay. So again, you can, um, oops. You can combine these so whenever right click group and then whenever you move it then you can it'll go with it so um, those are the two ways you can do it if if one image is like that then I would do it underneath it and then I would do it underneath all the other ones if all of them is through that you can do it here um, and just make sure that each picture is cited in some way um, and that is it